It's been a really interesting conference, firstly, and one of the debates which has been going on within the discussions here has been around the whole issue of, you know, are civil society being driven to achieve short-term results at the cost of long-term transformations that they want to see in societies? Uh, and my response to that is actually, it, we're in an era when results really matter. Civil society has a set of results that it can talk about quite legitimately. And what they need to do is to show that they can achieve short-term results which actually fit in with their long-term objectives. So to use the focus on results to actually achieve what they want to achieve, not just be either reject the idea of results or to reject it as something being driven from outside by donors. There are huge challenges facing the globe at the moment, too numerous to mention. How do you think civil society will rise to the challenge of responding to those pressures? I think parts, I think by and large, I'm very optimistic about the role of civil society. There are some of the most innovative things that are happening across the globe right now are happening because of the role of civil society. There are new forms of organising, new ways of doing things, etc. And I, will, I would say that civil society needs to continue to be relevant to, for the changes that it wants to see in society and to be as close to people that it cares about, people who are vulnerable, poor, etc. And to stay uh, close to that, that constituency as it can. Is there one challenge above all else that you think um, we need to rise to in civil society? I mean, would it be climate change or economic upheaval or political instability? I think there are slightly different challenges across the globe. But what we do know is that ec the economic crisis that we are seeing in parts of Western Europe and the West at the moment is actually going to impact on everybody across the globe. Added to that is the issues around climate change and much more inst instability. So I think there are slightly different problems, but there is one fundamental thing that characterizes all of this, and it's if people don't, aren't able to organize, then it, we can't achieve many of the things that we want to achieve. So try and preserve the space for people to organize, to have a voice, and to actually hold leaders and institutions to account. And finally, how useful is it for you to have this space uh, to come along, to talk to other people, to debate, to discuss? It, has it been a useful uh, conference? It's been an incredibly useful conference because it brings together a number of people from across the globe. And the discussions enable all of us to think of new ways of doing things and improve the way we, we're all working, etc. But the critical issue about the conference is not just what happens in the conference, it's what happens after it. The follow-up action that each of us takes in our own institutions, in our own lives, in our communities and the networks that we work with.